when you're focused on the breath and other thoughts come in, just tell them, this is not the time for that. You have to have a sense of the proper time and place for things. As the Buddha said, this is one of the signs of a wise person. There's a list he gives of seven qualities of, of wisdom, and only one of them is the kind of wisdom you can learn simply by memorizing, knowing what the Dharma says. You can look that up in books. You can chant it. You can memorize it. But all the other qualities of a wise person have to come from your powers of observation. First one is knowing what is that. What do these Dharma passages mean? Again, people can look in the books and figure it, it out to some extent. But a lot of times, it comes from learning to put it into practice and then seeing which of the teachings are appropriate for which situation and what they're meant for. You look around for good examples, but you've got to observe on your own. There's having a sense of yourself, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. Again, you have to learn this by observing. A sense of the moderation, what's the appropriate amount of sleep, what's the appropriate amount of food to eat. You have to learn this through observation. What's the right time to meditate? What's the right time to help around the monastery? What's the right time to be alone? What's the right time to be with others? All, things, all these things you have to learn by observing. Having a sense of the people you're with, what, where to speak, what kind of people are worth hanging around with, which people are not worth associating with. You learn this by observing. So this places a lot of responsibility on you. It's one of the reasons why the, the Forest of Johns <coughs> don't explain that much in terms of the Dharma. They give you the basic principles, and then it's up to you to observe, because only when you're observant can you see your own defilements. It's not like they come ready labeled in the mind. Greed doesn't come with a little sign that says greed. Anger doesn't come with a sign that says anger. Sometimes these things sneak up on you. When they come, and once you recognize them, they still don't have a little checklist, a little handbook that says, this is how you deal with me. You've got to figure these things out on your own. You've got some help from the text, but then you've got to figure out how to apply the teachings. This is why the Buddha said what he looked for in a student was someone who was observant and no deceiver. In other words, you don't deceive yourself, you don't deceive others, you're honest about what's happening, and you're really observant as to what's happening, what you're doing, the results of what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. And that's how you're going to develop the discernment that sees deeper inside. Again, there's nobody going to be there telling you, okay, now you do this, now you do that. You'll have to use your own powers of observation, your own sense of what's appropriate. So you want to develop that as you go through the day. If you can develop this kind of wisdom, then it's wisdom that's all around. And it will take you all the way. <clears throat>